Don't forget to go down in the description below to check out all the discounts and reductions and special offers available for different softwares. Thank you. Nick Collection 8 is out and I'm personally very excited about it. The reason why I'm very excited about it because this new Nick Collection 8, it's really dedicated, um, made some dedicated changes for Photoshop Lightroom Classic, especially for Photoshop. If you are a heavy Photoshop user, let's get, get into it in a moment. Now, first of all, those who don't know what is Nick Collection, it's a premium sort of plugins that actually can be used especially for Photoshop, Affinity Photo, DxO Photo Lab, Adobe Lightroom Classic, or as a standalone software. Then you have exclusive tools for manipulating softwares, digital or analog, you name it. Now, one of them is Nick Color Effects, where you can manipulate your color images in many way possible. Now, in new Nick Collection 8, we have now the option of import Photoshop mask directly into Nick Collection and send Nick Collection local adjustment as a mask in Photoshop or transfer mask seamlessly between the plugins. And that is very big time saver, that's for sure. Now, you definitely are going to be excited to know that Nick Collection has a brand new Photoshop panel. So, you know, the, which is very amazing because the panel is one of the most strongest feature for Photoshop. And now we can use Nick Collection for that. Now, another change, which is again, related to Photoshop, that you can send layers to Photoshop directly as a layer to Photoshop while you continue working all you have to do is to make sure send as layer and that's it it's good to go now you can take your edits into photoshop by creating a smart object applying them as a current layer creating a new layer and creating new layer with a mask now guys if you are a new collection lover you're going to be very excited to have those options especially for photoshop now let's say you don't have photoshop that's fine i mean you already going to have already good amazing tools of previous nick collection however the silver effects if you are a fan of black and white photography now it got just even better now especially you can officially see the color images in uh, silver effects which is actually kind of not possible previously now at the bottom left corner you'll be able to see the color images as a reference so that you know exactly what kind of edits you are doing and then they kind of made a new change in user inter interface where the right hand panel now mirrors the workflow of color effects and analog effects so you're not going to be very confused about it now you start with the film types, then add filters as needed. Keep your workflow and workspace nice and tidy, which is very, 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 very good. Now, there are a few more upgrades in Nick Silver FX. You have optimized presets. Now, you can use clear view and selective tone filters locally, which is beautiful. You have new filter looks which is amazing. We're going to make, I'm going to make some videos on it very soon. And you have new color mask. So use color based selections to refine the adjustment with unprecedented precision. So basically you can change your color mask so that it doesn't mix with any kind of other colors. And you'll be very much able to edit with precision. And by the way, all the logos of Nick Collection has been changed. So that kind of uh, bring into the new era of Nick Collection, where all the old logos will be disappearing and replacing with the new logos, which will be very easy to understand which, you know, plugins you're using with C for color, S for silver, A for analog, V for Viveza, D for define, S for sharpener, and h4 hdr 
Now overall, this is the all changes, fantastic option for the Photoshop user. So I would say this version is actually prioritized the Photoshop, but I'm hoping that they going to bring new option for Affinity users. And they made new changes in silver effects, which is very good. I always appreciate new changes. And you can add color, mask, uh, color masks in color effects and across the suite for the target local adjustment and accuracy and easy easily switch to tf mode and access to all settings so that you need to go through the manuals pretty much straightforward changes i highly appreciate all the changes i always get the best and the newest of the nick version every single time and if you're curious about it i highly recommend you to go down in the description below and try out for yourself you will be very happy about it enjoy photography take care of yourself and bye bye All right, before we start this video, first of all, I would like to say that I speak and explain things very slowly. And that might be a problematic for you if you're looking for a video that is very fast paced. But in my point of view, it doesn't really work because, you know, when I have to explain the tools and the techniques, um, you can, you know, catch the explanation and understand the explanation very well when somebody speak very slowly. That's just my point of view. However, we can go down uh, in the two of your video and then speed it up to make the video even faster, if you like. Second, it's always useful to come back to the video whenever necessary because you might forget what I just explained and you know, in order to revisit the video, make sure that you save the video for future reference. And third, go down in the description below and then click on the link in order to download the software. Unless you already have the software, that's fine. But if you don't have it, go down in the description below and then click the link in order to download the software to try it out by yourself. Best way to learn anything. And then if you like, I can, and I'm more than happy to provide you the photo the raw photo that i'm using for this video so that you can practice it on your own and that way you will never forget any tools and you can actually learn a lot faster now let's jump into the video enjoy photography